All right, now here we have got a minor yet a useful update that we have got on Samsung's theme park application or theme park engine, which enables us to customize the theme for your Samsung Galaxy phones. This is a brilliant application on GoodLock app, which lets us customize each and every nook and corner of the One UI. So in this video, we are going to check out that one cool option which has been added now for customizing your quick panel on theme park engine. To show you this option, I need to compare the current version of Theme Park with the previous version. So we have got the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra here on the left and on the right hand side I got the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Both these beasts are running on One UI 5.0. And I have already made all the new features that we have got on these phones on the One UI 5.0. So if you missed those videos, go ahead and check out the channel. You will be able to know all those brilliant features that we have got on this iteration of One UI based on Android 13. So do go ahead and check out the channel and if you are someone who would like to know your phone better, be sure you smash the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you find this video useful. Now let's go ahead. I'll open GoodLock app on both the phones. I will tap on Theme Park Engine. But before that, let me just tap on more here on the S22 Ultra and go to store and show you the current version of Theme Park. This is version number 1.0.9.43. And in the change log, it says One UI 5 Quick Panel Preview Update fix errors and theme colors. So if you read this change log, you will not exactly get to know what has happened, what has really changed. So what we're gonna do is we will open Theme Park application on this phone as well as on the Note 20 Ultra, which has the previous version of Theme Park. And let's see what has really changed. Now, since I opened this, I will just tap on quick panel here. Now I'll tap on create new. Now you see while customizing the quick panel, the preview of this particular page has changed a bit. As you can see, there is a lot of space on the top here on the new version where we have got only the clock, the digital clock on the top. Then we have got the current day, day and month. And here on the top, we have got all that information and the toggle starts right from here. And then we have got the rest of the page uh, with just three notification options here shown on this preview. Whereas on the previous version, it is completely cluttered here. But this is not the real change. Let me tell you what exactly is the new option that we have got here. As you can see in the previous version, we have got nine options or nine circles to customize these elements on the quick panel. Let me just count this up for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got nine options. Whereas on the current version, the latest version, we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have got one new option or one new circle which is being added to customize a specific element or a specific area on the quick panel. And that is the app I on on the notification area. Now with One UI 5.0, we all know that we have got these notification icons on the left hand side. Whenever we get a new notification, the associated app icon will also show up right here. And I have also read some of you mentioning that it's completely black and white on your all new One UI 5.0 version. But now with this theme park update, we have got an option to customize or color these icons which show up on the notification panel. So let me just tap on this. I will select a particular color. You see these icons now are in this particular color. Now this is a welcome feature or a welcome option. However, this is going to apply the color for all the notification icons uniformly. That is something to keep in mind. So if you want to see everything in one color, you can set this up. But if you want the original color on that particular app icon, then you don't need to customize this. So we have got both the options. It is up to you whether you want to set a particular color for all the app icons associated with the notifications or not. So you can take a call on that. Now I have already created a couple of themes here. As you can see, I have set the notification icon color and this is how it looks. This is a brand new option to customize the notification panels app icons. Let me know what do you think. Did you like it? Drop a comment and while you do that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like as well. Let's target at least a thousand likes for this video. Now coming back to the GoodLock application, we have also got a module here called Quick Star which enables us to customize the quick panel. Even this particular module has been integrated to the theme park engine. So even on this module, when you tap on style your own quick panel and tap on create new, you will see a similar layout with an option to customize the app icon on the notification panel. So just want to let you know guys about this as well. That's about it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.